All right, we got Full Tilt Flip Flop. Another one by uh, Night Day. This is Full Tilt Madness backwards. And we, uh, we did it on stream a few times. This is probably my fourth or fifth attempt after the stream. This part I just, I had a lot of trouble with. I mean, I got used to it eventually, but I had so much trouble staying on my feet there. And then this part, I kept uh, going past the checkpoint. <laughs> but, you know, eventually you get it. It was another, this one, I think this one took me about the same attempts as, as Full Tilt Madness, honestly. Um, it was, it's, it's hard to make a map this difficult work backwards. And so that was definitely an impressive little feat. Um, yeah, I can't imagine making any of my levels that were like this backwards and make it work. Hey, worked that time. If you can't tell, this is a voiceover after the fact. But I really like this obstacle. It was a little easier the uh, the other way, <laughs> but it's a it's a hard obstacle. But it's actually it's really fun to do. It's tough finding uh, tough obstacles that are actually fun. I don't remember how long this took me, but. Yeah, the, the jump, the transition is obviously the, the hardest part. And I kind of get used to this eventually, too. It had been a while since I had done Full Tilt Madness, so I had to get my... I had to get used to it again. And let's see, do I do it on this one? I'm watching this back for the first time in, like... I probably did it about four or five days ago. Just been too busy to... Edit everything. You can do it. Yeah, good job. Oop, didn't get high enough. I don't actually finish it on this one. Oh, <laughs> I don't actually finish it on this one, but uh, I get to a certain obstacle and then I start my my next try at that obstacle. At least from what you guys will see, so it's not wasting tons of time. But I like showing like the early attempts at, at things before I really get used to them to show the learning process. I'm not sure if I had done completed this yet. I don't think I did it on stream. I think I learned that that fan... I think she... Night Day had said that it was... Uh, easier but uh i i keep hitting that that wall up top so i think i discovered that these blasters at least for me were a little easier you just had to get your angle right and the blind f fan jump obviously you can get hit by that ball like i did you can get hit by the fruit just gotta cross your fingers and go. Maybe if you slide down the middle, like full speed and jump at the right time and use the fan, maybe it pushes you at the right angle. I don't know, but it wasn't working for me. So, I was going with the, the blasters. They're also very quick shooting blasters, so you really gotta time it right. You see, I, I don't know what the the plan for that is, the right way. I'm sure there is one. It's probably sliding down the middle. But we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way. I was gonna say, I think that time I slid underneath it actually. <laughs> I kinda remembered that hectic drop. 
So you do have to control your speed a little bit. I was always running backwards. That one, I just lost control a bit. <laughs> hey, there we go. This part was much harder backwards than forwards, I think. I mean, you had to time your jump with the spin much better. This is the uh, obstacle I think I'm going to start my next one on. I think I do the transition at least okay. Well, you'll see the timer, and then you won't see the timer, so... You'll know when it happens, but... Yeah, it was just very hard to time that. Let's see how I do here. Get on your feet! Come on, Pepper. <laughs> All right. I had gotten used to this because I had done so many tries of it, but it had been a while, obviously, like I said, since I did Full Tilt Madness, so that was my first attempt at that in a couple weeks. Ooh, went way too far on that one. This time. Nope. Yeah, there's a timer, so I do think I make it to the slides on, on this attempt. But I was in a rush because of that timer. Nice grab. Learned not to dive. I think I face plant here if I remember right. Yep, there it is. So yeah, timer disappeared, so we are on to the next attempt. <clears throat> There's only really two obstacles left. I mean, I guess this is a series of obstacles. But... There's one checkpoint, I believe, if I remember right. I do not remember how long this mistakes me. So we are watching it again together. I usually don't time those spinners off, but I, I think, or I usually time them well. I'm guessing the fact that they're angled threw me off just a little bit. And honestly, jumping off that edge, you just, at least for me, it was just kind of jump around there and cross your fingers. Ooh, I didn't think I, <laughs> I didn't think I would make it that time. See if I can do it on this one. Nope. <laughs> I remember how I do it. I actually don't end up using the fan at all. I kind of have enough momentum that I accidentally just skip the fan and land on land on the checkpoint. One of those, you know, you'll take it type situations. Not what we were intending. Yeah, see? <laughs> Don't even use the fans. I did not think about that middle one. The side ones, they were a lot further out than I thought they were. So it took quite a few tries to even get it down to the point where I felt like it was a decent attempt. They were significantly farther than I thought. See, I feel like I didn't even pass it while I was up there. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember the timer popping up, but... Hey, it worked out. <laughs> there is Full Tilt Madness and Full Tilt Flip Flopped completed. Very good difficulty, I enjoyed both of them. They both took, I don't know, eight tries or so. Loved every second of it. Well done again, Night Day.